Hello and welcome to E-Prime for this evening. I am Daydran, Missy Signal, Butcher Banton, Beanie Man Sanchez and Bound to Kill All Go Gospel. Well, Richie Stevens, a singer and producer of the six-track rhythm called Street Gospel, recently held the launch event in Kingston, which saw the artists performing their tracks. The EP features Sanchez and Busy on He Lives, Kevin Downson and Bound to Kill All on Call Him. Nitty Kutty teaming up with Buja Banton on Lord I Thank You, along with Richie Stevens and Kukudu on Pray That Away. Beanie Man and the Flames with No Obia and Richie again on Reverse the Curse. Street Gospel Rhythms is produced by Stevens, part of Gold Label, in collaboration with Vipal Imprints. You're the soul protector. King of Kings. You're forever. The Alpha and Omega. Beginning and the end. Save me in this keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. Now in the theater world, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning finally hits half a billion at the global box office. The seventh Mission Impossible movie, which struggled through the Barbenheimer craze, even with Tom Cruise as its pull, reached the benchmark after more than a month in theaters. According to reports, the film grossed around 160 million US dollars in the North American box office and then a 362 million overseas for a total global sales of 522 million. Budget for the pandemic film was near 300 million, which means that it needs to gross around 600 million worldwide to break even and to start turning a profit. In comparison, Tom Cruise managed to pull US 1.5 billion last year for Top Gun Maverick. Now, the Writers Guild of America, WGA, who is moving into the third month of writer's strike, responded on Tuesday to the latest proposal from the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers trade group for major studios and streaming platforms. The proposal, however, sees the studio group not agreeing to a key demand for a minimum staff size for TV writers' rooms. Now, the studio, who initially refused the demand, this time made some concessions, including agreeing to give showrunners flexibility to hire a certain amount of writers depending on the budget of the show. The WJ is however firm that it wants a fixed minimum staff size for all shows. The two sides remain at odds on a host of other issues but according to reports out of Hollywood, the TV staff size proposal is shaping up to be the key hurdle in getting to an agreement. The two groups had gone near a hundred days without talk but are expected to return to the table this Friday. That's it for E-Prime this evening. I am Daydrian. Thank you for watching.